viewers. My name is Jason Yavarsky and I'm the product director for CACD. That's my son back there. And um, what I want to record today is a quick speed run of our new, um, some improvements to the uh, validation of the GitLab CI YAML, so the linter. Um, the, there's a couple new things here that I'll show. One is uh, that there's, we have this simulate button, uh, which will run a pipeline as if uh, it was processed for real. Uh, and then the other is some new warnings. Um, so uh, let's start by uh, just writing a, a basic pipeline here. So um, I have a job, um, and then I have to set. So I'll just say that's all fine. I'm not actually going to run this. So uh, that doesn't really matter too much what I'm doing. Uh, let's add a script section. Okay, um, so now uh, I can validate uh, that this is a, a valid YAML, which you could do before. This existed before. I'm also able to simulate a pipeline though, which is a new interesting thing. And what this is doing uh, is it's actually evaluating the pipeline as if it would have run in the project. So you have to have permissions to actually run a pipeline in the project to, to test in this mode. Um, but where you can see the benefit of this is if you start to do things uh, where, um, you know, if you say rules, if, um, you know, my variable is equal to true, uh, then uh, go ahead and uh, always run this. Um, you know, if you, if you just validate this in the old way, um, I'm oh, sorry, I got my contacts on here. Trusty linter. Okay. Uh, if you validate this in the old way, it just validates that the syntax is good and it's fine. Uh, but, um, if you validate this using a simulation, you'll see that, uh, no jobs resolve to existing for this pipeline. And that's because this variable is not true and this is the only job. Um, so I could prove this out by uh, adding a variable section and setting a variable uh, to true. Uh, and now if I simulate this again, it should result, yeah, and now there's a job instantiated um, based on this rules being um, evaluated to true, uh, which is cool. Um, the other thing that you can do here is, um, uh, we've added warnings. So uh, if I have a job too, and I do something like um, this, uh, same thing, I go hello, and then uh, rules, and just set this to always run. Uh, we should get a warning here. Rules, we write in hashes. Um, run, always. Um, yeah, I get a warning that uh, this can allow multiple pipelines to run uh, because when always resulting to true um, means that it will run for a merge request pipeline, it will run for a regular pipeline. And you can read more, uh, we link to the instructions here. Um, so these warnings are new and we're gonna be adding more and more of these things. And um, yeah, I hope that these are uh, nice new features that you can use and help make uh, your awesome experience a little bit easier. Uh, thanks for watching and um, would love to hear your feedback on these. Thank you.